Live from the Super Doppler 10 Weather Center, this is a severe weather alert. Well, thanks for joining us for this special weather coverage. I'm Anita Blanton. We continue to track major flooding across Hampton Roads. Chopper 10 has been up in the air above the flooding this afternoon, showing us what's been taking place here. This is some of the video from earlier there in the Swanson area of Portsmouth. You can see the flooding that they had and the people who had to go into that area. Now, 10 on your side's Liz Kilmer was on the ground. Well, it's been hours since the rain stopped, but you can see here in the city of Portsmouth, we're still dealing with a lot of flooded roads. This is the Swanson home section of the city. A lot of water here still in the street, and we're told that this water had made its way into homes earlier. In fact, the fire uh, fire officials came out here helping people get out of their homes. We're told about 50 people were actually taken to a shelter at Norcom High School. Good news is no one was hurt, according to the fire department, but a lot of devastation here. You can see we've seen trash cans knocked down. We've seen people drying out their vehicles, uh, drenched cloths hanging from porches. But again, good news is no one was hurt and people, they're just waiting for this water to go down so that these roads will be passable again. For now, I'm in Portsmouth. Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side. And Chopper 10 got this video of the flooding in the town center area of Virginia Beach. 10 on your side's Deanna LeBlanc has been checking out the damage on the ground there. Yeah, I'm here at this condo complex off of Lynn Haven Parkway in Virginia Beach, and this is so many hours after the storm came through. Just look how deep the water is still, but residents living here keep saying this is not how bad it was last night. They say last night their tires were underwater. The front and the backs of their condos were getting water in under the doors. You can see here a man's already ripped up his carpet. He said there was at least two inches of standing water there, and he just wanted to get it out so he had no mold in his house. He's got teenagers to worry about, and you can see some people tried to move their cars to higher ground, but a lot of people are worried now that their cars may be ruined. They said this water was several inches higher overnight and into this morning. Some people have just packed up. I've seen people put their things in trash bags and just head down the road. No real destination, just wanted to get away from the flooding. Take a listen to what some of the residents had to say to us. You kept hearing it bubbling, and it was coming through like the refrigerator and the oven and like the back door and the front door. So everything's just completely gone. And you've never been seen it this bad. We've seen the creek get high, but I've never seen this flood. It happened all of a sudden, too. It yeah. was like one minute where everything was nice and low, the next minute it was high. So this is really what caused all that flooding. This is normally just a little creek. It has clearly spilled its banks and spilled right over onto Lynn Haven Parkway. The unit I was just standing in front of is now here to my right. So the water came from that creek, from the street, and up in those people's back doors, around in the front doors. They just couldn't stop it. And it, there were a lot of roads that look like this still in Virginia Beach. There's a list of road closures on the city's website. We have a link to that on wavy.com. But the bottom line, turn around. Every time someone drives through this, they're pushing water back into these people's homes. Just stay inside, wait till the roads clear out, and just listen to the officials telling you not to go out tonight. In Virginia Beach, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. 10 on your side. And Deanna mentioned the road closures in some areas. Let's get a better outlook throughout Hampton Roads. Jen Lewis is here with your 10 Time Saver Traffic. Jen. Thanks, Anita. We do have one also along the interstate systems in York County. This is as a result of a downed tree, as you might imagine. 64 eastbound before Camp Ferry. It's up around the Queen, uh, the Queen Creek Creeks Bridge area. And as a result, all of those eastbound lanes have been blocked. They were exiting people at Camp Ferry. I'm certainly keeping my eyes on that and we're keeping information at wavy.com. And this is one of the pictures that Deanna sent us. We can see this tree is down and police and fire saying in a situation like this don't drive under the tree or the downed power lines because you don't know if the tree could fall or if the power lines are live so keep that in mind and then also lots of flooding on our secondaries we do have a list of all the closures and links on our website as well because for example this is a picture in virginia beach that we got from one of the viewers and it's just flooded so bad in kimsville and then once again all over hampton roads you're going to find this on the secondaries and in neighborhoods so don't go through these waters you will get stuck and use caution just don't drive through those flooded waters if you don't know, don't go. That's always a great rule of thumb. Don't drive around barricades. We also heard from Virginia Beach Fire about that because some folks have been going around the barricades that they've been putting up. Also, a lot of traffic lights out are because of so many power outages. So use caution if you have to go out. But the best rule of thumb is stay home this evening if you can. And also, we did hear from HRT. The ferry service has resumed. However, the bus and paratransit services, those are still suspended. Anita? 
Well, many local school districts were already scheduled to be closed tomorrow because of the Columbus Day holiday. Others have now closed because of flooding, though. So you'll find the list on wavy.com. Check that out. And here's a look at the power outages summary for our area. So many people have been without power. A southeastern Virginia is listed right there. More than 178,000 customers are without power now. It's certainly come down quite a bit over the last few hours. Those outages are across every city and county. Keep sending in your pictures of the damage. The flooding where you live to report it at wavy.com. We have a slideshow on wavy.com. You see all those trees that have been coming down. Keep it here on Wavy News 10 for updates. Tonight at 6, we'll have a full hour of team coverage. We're always online at wavy.com. That's another way to see us there. Right now, Chopper 10 is out surveying the damage right live. This is in Hampton. We're actually looking. This is the only city in our area where we have heard of a death. Uh, so right now, we're continuing to survey what's going on throughout our area. Stay with us here on the air and also online at wavy.com for the latest.